it gets better. In school, I was getting beat up. I was this kid named Steve, and he was a little bit taller than I was, and he wore a ring on his finger, and he used to hit me on top of the head. <clears throat> he knew it would leave a little bruise on the top of my head, but nobody else would see it, and it hurt like hell. There was this other kid by the name of Osvaldo, and he had a gang of thugs who hung around with him, and he carried around a chain in his back pocket, and at lunch, they would corner me and beside one of the buildings, they'd wrap the chain around my neck, and they'd force me to say, I'm a faggot. first time I fell in love with a guy, I realized that this is who I am. It was great. It was incredible. I couldn't pretend to be anybody other than who I was at that point. But the people around me didn't understand. They didn't get it. Um, some friends stopped talking to me. I'd heard lots of people saying nasty things about gays and faggots and insulting jokes. Uh, it was really depressing because even though I finally was accepting who I was, a lot of the people around me weren't. So I decided that um, I wanted the pain to stop. It wasn't that I wanted to die, I just didn't want to be in pain anymore. And I felt like I was in this well, and I was looking up, and there was light that was like 20, 30 feet above me, but there was no way I could ever climb out. So I tried to kill myself. I didn't succeed, um, but I did wind up in the hospital, in traction. Um, and all kinds of rods into my legs and hips to keep me in place and keep me from moving. And then when they finally did let me out of traction so that I could move around, my body was so deformed and I couldn't walk, and I was in so much physical pain that I thought I'd really, really just made things worse. So I tried to kill myself again. And this time they tied me down. And they kept me there for quite a long time until my body healed. And now I'm able to walk, and I don't limp anymore, and I can climb upstairs, and I can carry things. And now that I'm an adult, the world is so much better. If I had died, I would have missed out on everything that's great about living. I live where I want to live, and I'm in love with the man I want to be in love with. And I have wonderful friends, and I do great things that I really, really enjoy doing. It wasn't like that in high school. High school can be really hard. It was really hard for me. All you have to do is hang in there, get the diploma, and get out. Because the real world is so much better.